guys. It's Lisa from lisatonsonlive.com. Um, today I have a glue book I'd love to share with you. It is um, a real mishmash of, of images. Uh, what's unique about this is actually a 1968 Brown Line Daily Journal. And it was actually given to me when I was a child, uh, when I was about probably in grade one, to practice my writing in, my ABCs and whatnot. Um, and I believe from what I recall, my older sister would mark my, my work. Um, I used it as a little bit of a journal when I was uh, up until grade school was over, probably uh, early high school. I think I finished, I didn't write in this anymore. Uh, it would have eventually got into the hands of my younger brother who added his own scribbles and, and autographs. And so um, what's kind of fun is I just kind of tried to honor some of the, the things that are in it already, you know, some of the markings and my journal entries. And um, I added a little bit of like some images from, from my childhood, like this little picture here. Um, I think that was probably around the age when I got this book. I think I was about five here, maybe six. And this is my own hand drawing from high school. And this is a little ad of Tatum O'Neill in Paper Moon, which I just loved her in that movie. I always, she reminded me of me. Um, so I thought, well, that would be fitting to just add in here. So without further ado, let's, let's do a little flip through. Um, but I just kind of wanted to buy way to express you know, the meaning of this book and for some weird reason how I um, have kept it all these years. And I, I don't know, I, I've lost so many things over the years from my childhood that I'm actually honestly kind of surprised that I still have this book. Uh, <laughs> so about a year ago, I thought, or maybe less than a year ago, I thought, you know, let's do something with this. Um, so I just thought, well, let's make it into a glue book. Um, Johnny Cash was my favorite singer as a child, and so I thought that was fitting. I did try to honor a little bit of childhood things, but in the end, really, it's just a bunch of images that I kind of, you know, liked, or I tried to sort of color, do color um, coordination. So some of these pages I haven't decided, you know, like, for example, I might leave this the way it is. Um... This is scribbles on top of scribbles with images. One of my favorite childhood books, Pippi Longstocking. So it's, like I say, very much a mishmash. I don't know, uh, there's some pages that I still wanna add a little bit to. Um, this one to me is finished. I like how these scribbles take on a bit of a different character once you start adding images, the scribbles kind of make an, an interesting background. I did also tear out quite a few pages um, and it's still quite puffy and um, there's still some blank spots that I'll probably be adding some spreads to. Let's see, like this is cute, some little entries from 1976 when I was about 11 years old. I'd write about what I, what I did that day. Um, this page is, is coming out, I'll probably just tear it out. Some <laughs> names that I made, lists of boys and girls names that I liked, that's so funny. And I think I was probably like nine or 10. And I did paint over with some translucent paint and it's, I like the effect it had. It sort of blurs all the writing, but it makes it look kind of graffiti-ish. Um, you could still, you know, it's still visible underneath all the color. 
and lots. Still, you know, quite a few blank pages actually that I can add to. And it took, the pages took watercolor very nicely. Um, it didn't buckle, which is surprising because the, pa the paper is so old. But um, I thought that was kind of fun, a little um, party type thing <laughs> over top of this scribble. Um, so it's, it's meant to be a little bit playful still, kind of childish. And yet in some ways, you know, I, like I do put fashion pictures in and, um, you know, it's definitely an adult book, but And this is an old palette paper from one of my when I was painting and it's kind of nice to keep pieces of those just for your backgrounds um, instead of because basically you just throw those in the garbage so I have kept some of those again you can see like this this was already here and I'm just kind of leaving it exposed I'd like to do some more here. This is it's cute, but it needs definitely needs something. And I haven't decided whether I'll cover this little drawing up. It's pretty funny. I might leave it. I think that was my brother's drawing. That wasn't mine. And I was obsessed with witch drawing witches for a while. I did. I know that's my drawing. <laughs> so um, who better than Angelica Houston? as Gomez's wife. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I forgot the character's name. This was actually the only, the only page my father wrote in and he made a list of calls to companies he was a salesman at the time, uh, October 17th, 1967. I find that quite interesting. That's the only page he wrote in. And I put this image in because it just reminded me of that era of the men being at work and going to their luncheon buffets after their calls. And <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of cool. I, I don't know why he didn't use this book. He must've found something better that, that was, I don't know, more useful. Maybe this was just given to him by the company he worked for. Um, but in, in any case, uh, it landed in my hands as a young child, and here we are. glue that see it starts to come apart that's okay nothing is perfect these are just meant to be a pleasure to flip through this is actually a letter that my grandmother wrote me in 1987 and I thought well that would be sort of a good 
re a good memory to have in here. And uh, this, this image just seemed to go so nicely. Kind of reminds me of how I was at that time. You know, even her, just her expression um, just really seemed to represent me back in those days. So I love, I love combining that image with the words. And all of these images are basically just from old magazines that I had. I didn't buy anything to add to these, um, you know, napkins, tissue. Um, and again, I did try to, I left some things undone. Like this is, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Um, and same with this last page, you know, calendars, you know, the scribbles from the original um, thing. And I just added this little slip here to put stamps in. Um, but, and that's the back. You can see that it's, it's starting to actually peel apart. So I'll probably have to like tape this whole section with like stronger tape. Um, but that's, you know, that's it. Uh, I think it's kind of fun. It's, um, a nice way to use an old book that was just hanging around with a bunch of scribbles in it. And, uh, it's, I, I enjoy just handling it and just flipping through and looking at the images and, and gluing. It's just kind of therapeutic, honestly. <laughs> um, like, so there is still these, you know, bank blank sections that I, I can continue to add to. So, but it's getting there. And I thought, just thought it'd be fun to share with you. So do leave a comment if you like, if you do glue books yourself, I'd love to see yours, maybe leave a link and I'd love to come visit your journal flip throughs. Thanks for joining me guys. See you again soon. Bye-bye.